Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do for myself. I record it and release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. You know, it just so happens that I love God, you know. The bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. It's whom you serve. Love yourself. You know, because if nobody else loves you, if you love yourself, you'll be okay. And never give up on yourself. Never. You don't have to be perfect. No one is. You know? Turn over to God. Even if you have things that you're dealing with that, you know, make you uncomfortable or, or aren't the right thing, come to God. You know, anyway, he'll help you with it. We never get past our consequences, though. You know, whether it's good or bad. But he help you get, he'll help you get through it. You know, choose God this day. Anyway, for those of you who are just tuning in, my name is Michelle Strickland, and I focus out of, I do my meditations out of uh, three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and a Buddhist text. It's an introductory Buddhist text called The Shape of Suffering, and it deals with uh, dependent core rising. So I try to uh, rotate each of these texts twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how I'm... Uh, uh, led to meditate each day. But anyway, we're back on the rotation for the shape of suffering. Also, I'm reading these these texts from cover to cover. I'm not censoring or editing out any words. I'm reading it for how it is. Okay? So we're back on the rotation for the shape of suffering that deals with dependent core rising without no this, there's no that. And everything has an effect. All the words that we use have an effect on the, our different senses. Okay? And with this text, I only read a little bit at a time, okay? However, the feedback loops in dependent core rising are so arranged that in practice, the knowledge that puts it in distress can be applied to any one of the factors. When the factor is no longer conditioned by ignorance at all, it reaches a re excuse me. It reaches a resonance point. Its cessation combined with the cessation of ignorance can send ramifications through the entire sequence, bring the entire sequence to cessation. When people speak of cutting dependent core rising at one of its links, such as the link between feeling and craving, what it is actually, excuse me, what is actually happening is that full knowledge with regard to that link has replaced ignorance with regard to the link. With the ceasing of ignorance, fabrications cease, and the cessation cascades throughout the entire sequence. In fact, the ending of ignorance can occur by developing knowledge in terms of four noble truths with reference to any of the factors of dependent core rising is explored in great detail in two discourses. And it just does the number sightings. I'm not going to do all that. I don't have... I don't have, I think it's the Paley Cannons. I'm just learning, so I don't really know how to cite it yet, okay? But I, I you know, but I'll, I'm learning. The ways in which these discourses make the point can be illustrated by the way each approaches the factor of feelings. Because every sense is affected by each other in different ways. So I'm going to stop it right there. Have a good day.